Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. You guys will never believe it, but I accidentally deleted everything that I had from day one of bootcamp. I have tried everything that I can possibly think of besides spending a fortune to try and get my footage back and I can't get it back. So sadly, I'm just going to jump into day two here right away, but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what day one of bootcamp entailed. So the way this workshop was designed is it was taught by two instructors who you guys will meet at the end of this video. One of the instructors would go up and show us the way that they do a French tip, as you can see in the picture here. The French tip in the ring finger is the first one that we learned. And then we would go and attempt to do it ourselves. The instructors would walk around and critique it and tell us where we can improve and help us with uh, doing the French tip nail. After we were done that, the second instructor would show us how she did her French tip nail and again would help us afterwards. So the ring finger was the first one that I did and then the middle finger was the reverse technique, which was my very first time ever doing a reverse technique. I have seen it done, I've never known how to do it. So it was awesome learning some different tips and tricks on how to do it. But the structure of this workshop was unlike any sort of workshop that I've ever taken before. I loved being able to see two different techniques done, attempting them myself, and either going one way with them, going the other way, or taking some tips and tricks from both and applying it to how I do nails. The last nail that we worked on was again just proper shape and structure, and then the instructors actually helped me work with applying gel paints, and this is on the pinky. So we definitely learned the proper way to do square nails and how to shape and file them. But what was great about this course is that they tailored it to what you wanted to know. So for me, I was interested in learning how to hand file a little bit more. That was something that wasn't touched on very much in any of the workshops that I've ever taken. So even going right back to the basics on how to properly hold the hand file, how to position your client's hands, how to position your hand to hold the hand file, just minor things like that that I probably should have picked up a little bit sooner in my nail career. A couple other tips that I took from day one of the workshop was actually just how to apply gel. It sounds so silly to say, and after eight years of being a gel nail tech, I learned some new tips and tricks on how I can properly apply gel. Overall, day one of bootcamp was a real eye opener for me. It took me right back to the basics of even just applying gel, finish filing with a hand file, even some different tips and tricks for using your e-file too. So day two, we jump into the almond nail that is on the pointer finger here. Before we jump into day two of boot camp though, Marianne and I decided to take a little detour to Michael's afterwards. One of the brushes that the instructor used to apply gel paint that I used on the pinky here was amazing and she actually got it from Michael's. So I am gonna insert that Michael's footage just because I have it. It's the only thing that I have from day one. So again, I apologize for losing my footage for day one. You guys better believe that this won't be happening again. But let's jump into Michael's and then let's jump into day two of boot camp. Okay, if you guys know me, you know how obsessed I am with planners. And I just want to show you something. I think one of, is this an hourly? Yeah, this is an hourly. Yeah, can you hold this, Ryan? Okay, so if you guys are paper planners, this hourly from Recollections would be really, really good to use. It's laid out from seven until 10, and you can use your Michaels coupons. So it would make it, if you're in Canada, it would make it like half of whatever that is. But yeah, I've always thought if you used a paper planner for scheduling your clients, an hourly would be really good. I don't use one though, I use a Figaro for scheduling clients. I don't think my hourly is set up like this. There's a, there was one cover. What do you mean? What do you think yours I is think set up I think I have like? a space under here. I gotta look at it when Aaron Condren one does. But I thought the recollections one. Let me know, cause I wish yeah. it had, that's the only downfalls. I wish it had like a blank space here for you to write like to do's or something. Yeah, cause this is kind of. Yeah. It starts at 7 a.m. That's too early for me. <laughs> Not with the baby, with me. Okay, we're in the brush section. What was the brand that Lana said it was? Simmons, right here. Simmons. Okay, it's number six. Six, 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 six. Oh my god, there's only one. And we're, I'm gonna have to leg wrestle you for it. I think so. Number six. That's the brush that she. Hang on, it's gotta focus. That's the brush that she told me to use for color on Marianne's pinky, and it worked so well. You can have it. I'll turn no, it no, 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 no. You take it. No, no, I'm serious. No, 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 no. Seriously? No, I was kidding you. I was kidding. Well, we you. need at least one brush for tomorrow. Yeah, We're you get this, this brush one. for tomorrow. Yeah. No, I was just kidding you. Like I hardly use them, so just to get. Like, you hardly use Swarovski. Well, I'm starting to use more because I'm making clients get them whether they want yeah. them or not. Um, we're just looking at the Swarovskis as you guys can see, and I picked up some of these pearl ones here the last time I came. I also picked up some of these giant Swarovskis there too. I'm not getting anything today though, there's nothing on sale. 
No, no, I don't want you to get out. <laughs> okay, day two of boot camp today. We are just gonna, we picked up some Tims for the instructors and for ourselves and Tim mitts for the class, hopefully. But yeah, we are just gonna head in now and I will show you guys what day two install, installs. Entails. Entails. I'll show you guys what day two entails. <laughs> okay, so we're just getting set up for day two. And Jamie has one of these brush holders, and you guys know that I have like the giant ones, but I think I need to get one of these small ones for traveling. I'm really wishing I had something like this to put my brushes in. And this is from Canada Nail Supplies, right? Yeah, I think I need one of those. Okay. And make note of where the apex is. It's actually higher up on the nail. Okay? This nail is not gonna have actually I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna show them. Okay. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. I need to okay. take a picture. So you can see the highest yeah. point is here. Okay. And so on the ones we did yesterday it was lower down? Yesterday was a different shape. Yeah, so lower down on the squares? Uh it depends if you pinch or not. Like when I pinch it brings my C curve up and then my nails actually do come out straight. Okay guys, we're gonna attempt an almond now. So I think we should buff that nail because I left grip shin on it last week. Okay, so I just sculpted an almond. We'll see if it'll focus. There we go. My C curve is looking fairly decent there. Pinching really makes a difference, you guys. I feel like this looks good for not doing my hand filing yet. For what? Not doing my hand filing yet. What'd you do? E file? Not yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, obviously, it still needs work, but okay. Is your perimeter done, or no, you haven't no, done? No, I haven't done okay. that yet at all. Okay, keep going. Yeah, good. Okay, but I'm like happy with this so far. What is this junk and file? On this? <laughs> Gosh, this is the one I wanted. Lana, I'm all nervous that you're watching me now. Do you want me to talk to her and distract us? <laughs> I need to form one one on your one on one. Yeah, it's set of nails, probably an hour and a half. So you still do look this, <laughs> but, but you not don't usually. No, I don't do very much hand filing typically. It's mostly e file. So yeah. <laughs> this is like all new to me, really. Like I do. So you wanna you wanna do it slowly? Yeah. Okay. Especially because I don't even know how to hold the hand file yet. Like that's what I'm okay. really learning. So when you're filing, <coughs> when you're filing on the opposite side, like so like this side. side, yeah. With your right hand. So you always uh, hold your can borrow me. Okay. Yeah. This one? Okay. So you hold your five like four. Like a four. Yeah. Four. yeah. So that's I'm spooning this side. And you're forking this side. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so now forky, switch to forky and do the other side. Right. On the so side. And I'm effect. holding on top. So okay. Just gonna, when you get home play with your file, like see, like that's what it straight. is right there. That no, straighten awkward. your finger. Yeah, almost like you're pointing at someone there with a gun. Go. There you go. Mm. This would be your forky. Okay, oh. so that's your fork, and you go a little bit. See how much file you have available to do. Yeah, so you can go this long and nice and smooth, fluid. If you can. So get her to go turn her whole rotate her whole hand. Yeah. And then you're gonna grab your you're gonna take your file and you're gonna come up the nail this way. It was awkward when I first learned how to Yeah. But this feels like your motion is restricted because you're kind of pushing it. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just show you how I find it? Yeah. If she turns her hand this way and then yeah, your file out. comes this yeah. way. Oh yeah, that would be easier for because then you'd be using your wrist. Just, and you're holding the file per perfect how you're holding it right now to come up like that. You know. Oh yeah, so oh yeah. Because then you can use your other hands to pull back. Because I'm going to hold you underneath. Really good. And then yeah, this way. Side, and then you're going to pull your file up on the side, right? So you're going to be, oh, when you're like this, yeah. you're going to come over around here and you're going to pull up. <laughs> See, it's easier motion for you when your wrist is on the top, but when you go the other side, this is awkward. I think you always have to have your hand on the top, you know what, because this is, you can't do motion like this, but you can do it. This is easy. Yeah. So I think it's just... I think I just need to find what works for me. Like, it's, everybody's doing it all completely different than yeah. everybody else, so it's just figuring out what feels comfortable. That looks so cool. Did I see? 
Yes, you can. Let me clean that up for you. I've taken off like all of my sidewalls, but <laughs> I just want to, I'm not entirely sure if it's hooking somewhere. Like, well, I think so. Like right here, I feel like I've got a mini hook. I was shown to like angle your, like you're worried about down here? Like right here. Like if you look on this side, I feel like there's a little hook. Like it's not completely, if we were to take a brush, I don't feel like it's completely how it needs to be. Actually, when I do that, there's a little bulk right there. That little ball right there, right? Yeah. So I know she's going to tell me to do that differently, but I don't know how to do that. Okay. Okay. I'm no hooky. No. No. Okay. Oh, you mastered the notebook. <laughs> I'm jealous. Good. What? Yeah. Oh, good. That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a tiny hook. The, oh. I thought there was a tiny hook. Tiny as a little hook. Okay, so, so how would I, like this? I would do it, let me check the thickness first. Okay, so what you're gonna do is gently feather. Just do that a couple more times, okay. really lightly. So I'm not really hitting up here. Just, just kind of like. Okay. Can you check mine? Thank you. So how spoony? <laughs> I just gotta make it's sure fun. I'm not the gel polish brush. Oh, nice one. Yeah, I've been actually using that quite a bit lately. Okay. Well, I don't. So you don't need very much. You know, sometimes I hide my own. Okay. Are we there? Mm, it still glides on nicely. I feel like I put way too much polish on. Okay, Marianne, we're going close to the cuticles. I'm holding my breath too. Does it feel the same as over top of the glass? Yep. I mean, this is yesterday we used LE, so it was a little bit different, but I can tell you right now I like that other brush better. Do you? Yeah. The, this the one just seems like it's like flaring out a little bit more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But seriously, if I could do nails like this and paint with the gel paints like this, this would be a game changer. Though I'm kind of unsure how you would marble with it because I do my marble pretty thick. Yeah, I think there's some things like even thick glitter, loose glitter. Yeah, you, yeah. That you still have to. I agree. But that shape just goes with everybody's yeah. finger shape. I agree. My mom would look good with this shape. If I could convince her to do this shape, she won't change her shape. No. She's done um like a lipstick shape before. I don't even know if I've done the tape is square on her, like ballerina shape. I don't think she's let me do that. Do you think it either. looks too pointy? Is that why? Yeah. But she, I think she would look really good with it. Just do it. Don't tell her. Just start filing. I, I feel like I just ruined this entire thing. Your cuticles are like f the heck up. My cuticles are dry. They're like f. Did you use your magic brush? I did use my magic brush, and I messed up the cuticle all right there, and I don't know how to clean it. Well, do you want to wipe it all off? The whole entire thing. Is well, that the best way to do it, you think? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. The more That's you what I'm going to do. Use a good wipe and okay. get lots of stuff on. No, for real. That's not going to do anything. Okay. And wipe towards you so that you don't touch it on okay. the skin. Really? Oh. Steve hated the mask. Oh, my husband loves it. Did he oh. like so shiny? Oh, yeah. Did you watch that video? I did, yes. yes. God, like he like hated it. Her nails don't look like they're finished. Like, yeah. And he still talks about it. We did the husband Q&A, he brought it up again in that video. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know, and when you had done that video, I was laughing because I'm like, it's so funny because my husband, and he shocked me because I was like, Seriously? Yeah. Like the man, I never knew you noticed anything. Yeah. And he's like this big burly guy with a beard. He probably yeah. likes it. He's like in car car paint now. He's coming out. And that. that's probably why. Because yeah. anything that's a matte finish, he just loves. Oh yeah. yeah. So that's probably yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. Okay, I'm going right in the cuticle, so no moving. <laughs> Oosh! Every time. I know it was my fault. I can't even blame you for that one. You can though. <laughs> no, you don't. I just, it, I'm just gonna clean it up just a You didn't know. I know. It's me being picky. So the life of a breastfeeding mom. Pumping in the bathroom in between, like during the break in the workshop. 
gotta maintain that supply when you're a breastfeeding mom. But yeah, so this morning was really good. We worked on almond and I feel very confident with my shaping with almond now, hopefully. Um, I feel like we learned a lot of really good tips, a lot of good tricks. And next we're gonna do, um, like Lana showed us how to do like an oval shape now. Um, oval's not overly popular in my salon though, so I'm actually gonna do another almond, but this time embedding to see if I can make it look as good as I did with the gel paint. That's what I'm gonna do next. Maybe I did, I can't remember if I filmed this one or not. Okay, this is my finished filed almond. And this is with, what, what do we use for this on top? Magic gel. Oh, magic gel. Okay, there we go. I did this now using the techniques we learned, except I embedded the color, like I usually do. You guys know I usually embed. So I was able to get like a nicer finished filed look, but I don't know, I think I'm liking the look of like the gel paints. It seems like it's more pigmented. And then also on the side here, let me see if it's gonna focus. On the side here, right here, you can see like the clear gel through it. So I don't know, I guess you could do like the sandwich technique and do another layer on top. That just seems so repetitive. I really think I'm liking the look of the gel paints on top. I don't know. So anyway, this now, we're gonna do a ballerina shape. So it's all prepped, ready to go here. Actually, I need to finish off the free edge a little bit more. And then we're gonna do a ballerina shape with, what did I say we're gonna do? Oh, light elegance on top. I'm gonna to try paint, light elegance on top instead of embedding. I'm really trying to tailor this workshop to what I would actually do. Mm -hmm. So many workshops I take and it's like, I wouldn't do a pipe now, so. It's not okay. bad. What I this is usually what I do here. When I file the shape, I usually have one really good side and then one like uneven like crappy way, side. So I'm gonna get Carmen's awesome. advice on how to it does, fix this. <laughs> so I feel like I, I do one side really, really good and the one side super crappy. Like okay. this I feel like is my good side and then this is like what's going on here. Exactly and so what what shape did you file it in? I started with like a semi-almond because that's what you had suggested to do is an almond and then yeah. And then I did that and now this is what we have. So, okay. Yeah, let me see what's You're going bulky on here. in here. Okay. <laughs> so can I steal your hand? Yeah, so you've brought this side in too yeah. much, right? Okay, but maybe I like that. Let me see, which side do I like better? No, this is the side I like. So what am I doing that is causing this side to be crappy? And I want it to be a straight across. <laughs> this one needs to... Okay, what okay. you can do, okay. add a little thread of product down that side. Cure it, and then we'll look at it. Okay, because I feel like so, I had product there and then I was the one that did this. So what can I do to prevent me from doing that? Like, is it how I'm holding my file? Because I feel like I'm, there's some way I'm holding my file on this side that's like... Well, you're having hands. Up, Show me how you... So, like this side, okay, that looks nice. I like what I'm doing here. This side, it's like... No, it's yes. like I'm turning it too yeah. much or something? Okay, so when I file this side, okay. I'm up. Oh. Okay, not like this. Can't do that. Your boob kind of gets in the way too. Not so it's the boob's fault. Okay. Yeah. Boob fault. Okay, so that way. Oh. That way. Okay. It's great now. Oh my god. Does that feel better? Yes. It might not be perfect, it's gonna take me a little bit. Already I think it's gonna be better. I, I feel like that's gonna be a game changer Because we brought it over a little bit, so now you should be able to like even those sides out. Yeah. Not the one, I don't think you really need to touch that it. That side's good, side. yeah. That's yeah. a complete game changer for me, I feel like. But this yeah. is... But mostly, like, it just made sense. As soon as I did that, the file, because I'm curving it too much. Yeah. Yeah, but, like, yeah so this, that way you like, can yeah. control it coming straight. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, Kate, yeah. okay. thank you. You're welcome. So everybody wants this shape and one side's always like, ooh, yes. my nemesis side. And it's side. not, like to me, I personally don't think it's a good shape for short nails. I think it looks dumb. But people want it. Then tell them they don't want nails. That would be ideal because then I'd have more art. They like it though? Uh, the majority of my clients are short, tapered, square. Mm -hmm. like, you can't even call it a ballerina because that's what it is. It's yeah, just a fine. tapered and square. Yeah. Well, if that's what they like, it's what they like. Yeah, and I needed to learn how to do it right, so. Yeah. yeah. Game changer. Good. Okay, that already looks better. Yeah. Yeah. Did that help you? Yeah, tremendously. Yeah. Holding my file different. I love this top coat though. Yeah, I'm really liking this top coat. If you guys are wondering, it is. Where is it? My accents shine on. You can't even see it because it's so shiny. I'm actually really liking this. And it's, all the other top that I've used, 
glow. Am I recording this? They better be okay. They glow in the UV light and this one doesn't. So there's something in here not making it glow. Which my clients think is cool that it's glows, but I kind of think it looks kind of funny, so. I think if I were to use something like morning swim, I would do a sandwich technique. Mm -hmm. I would embed and then I would go over with a thin layer just to get that, do you, like, do you see the difference that this looks more like a paint, like, mm -hmm. or like, do you know what I mean? Like you know it's more it, intense. Yeah, like this, I like this, but because you've got the clear on top, it almost has that, um, like, like what was Lana said? Show you guys what we mean. Like, what? like when you do a stamp on top of this, you see a shadow because it's... Yeah, yeah. and same thing on the side where you see that shadow. Like mm -hmm. I feel like this just like makes the color so much more intense doing it on top. But I see why you would need to embed in certain situations mm -hmm. too. So this nail is with light elegance on top. And this was, I don't think I showed you guys the color. This was Hot Rod Red. Which are you UV? Yeah, okay, so this is UV. Um, so sometimes I find the older formula from LE, the UV ones, they sometimes need more than one coat. They sometimes need to be worked a little thicker. This one was not the situation. This one was two very thin coats. And I just feel like it looks a little bit better than the one that I embedded. I feel like the color is way more intense on these ones that I didn't embed. So I don't know you guys, it might be going over to the dark side and not embedding anymore. We'll see. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a perfect gel polish manicure here. Okay, let's do this one on your ring finger. I do love the Skyver bit though. Mm -hmm. I was trained with this and I just, I do love this bit. My clients used to always say that it feels like a little mini massage. Yes. Okay. Gel polish matty here now, all prepped and ready to go. I guess she's done with us. Done. Oh, I forgot to push that cuticle back. First time doing this, right? Like, yes. Our first time teaching together. together. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, so like it was really interesting because yeah. Carmen would show her technique, Lana would show her technique, we would both do a nail with each one, and you can kind of take tips and tricks from both, use just Carmen's, use just Lana's. It was a really interesting dynamic to this workshop, and I really like how you guys ran it that way. Thanks. Yeah. yeah something fun. new, something uh, yeah. that uh, everybody, we believe that everybody can uh, benefit. Yeah. You know, totally. Because uh, uh, it's not a uh, technique, how it's done, you know, there's uh, several different ways. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to do it, you know, it's just finding a way. That's exactly it. Are we not sure that it's going like, to confuse people to yeah. learn two different no. ways? No. So that's good that it didn't. It did, for me it didn't. No, right no I right. agree. Like, you yeah. know, like I told you guys in class, take as many classes you as you can, you're going to learn something different with every person. Totally. And you get to make it your own technique. Yeah, totally. I'm going to post their, in the description box below all their information, so if you guys are interested in contacting them, they do, you guys do both do one-on-ones too, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. They both all have social, they both have social media too, so I'll post those links too, and then if you guys were interested in a course like this, because I always get comments about how to find other, other education, so. Oh, perfect. Yeah, awesome. so I'll do that as well. Okay, thanks ladies. Thank okay, so these are my finished nails from boot camp. Pretty excited about them. And then we've got a thumb over there. Okay, so this one is Ellie embedded this one is magic gel on top gel paint this is the reverse technique this is square French it's a white and clear not <laughs> whatever you guys get the gist um, and then this one what was this one? Oh, this is fusion gel paints on top and then this one this is a jelly fit gel polish manicure 
Yeah. Oh, it is. Uh, it is light elegance. It's not yeah. fusion. Yeah. No. Sorry. This is light elegance gel paint. I didn't even use fusion. <laughs> this is Jelly Fit uh, gel polish manicure, and then this is light elegance hot rod red on top. Just finished up at boot camp. All packed up, ready to go. What do you think of boot camp? It's awesome. It was awesome. Oh my god. I don't know if so you awesome. guys knew, but Marianne was my model for it. I can't remember if I said that or not. So. Yeah, I probably did say that, but yeah. she let me play around on her and it was awesome having another nail attack as my model because we were able to bounce ideas off of each other and I was able to talk through the process and it was really good having her as a model. So I appreciate you being my model. I, thank you for letting me be your model. I felt like I walked away with some knowledge too. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. good. That was yeah. awesome. If anyone has the opportunity to take it with those two ladies, 100%. Do it. Yeah, 100%. And you guys know that I've taken quite a bit of training. Like, I try and take as much as much advanced training or training as I possibly can. This was definitely one of the best workshops I've been to. This mm -hmm. was it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Well ran, well structured. Yeah, it was a really really good Very workshop. Very helpful. They were so helpful. Yeah. And I know some people were scared to take the boot camp, you included. Yeah. Uh, Marianne was scared to take it just because I don't know, you're getting critiqued, right? And they kind of made it sound a little bit more scary. Like one of the requirements was that you could take criticism and it wasn't at all what I thought it was going to be. Like they were super friendly about the, your critiques and you went in knowing that they're there to help you. Like that's what they want to do. from a place of helpfulness, not yeah. judging. Yeah, exactly. Not judging and not, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm hungry. I can't remember anything right now. Okay, anyway, yeah, we're gonna end the vlog. That's what we're kind of getting at here. So thank you guys for coming nail to nail boot camp with us and I will see you guys in my next video. And I'm sure Marianne will make appearances eventually again. We seem to take lots of training together, so. Okay, see you guys later.